day five of shutdown at Rafflin Energy Site. All is pretty still here. I'm still convinced there's a leak in this well. We got a slight whiff of methane yesterday, but it was only tiny. But I don't want to talk about that today. All the oil workers pacing the mound. I want to talk about Burton Constable. When I got here, we did a bit of digging around, Lou and I, and we spoke, or she spoke, with the agent of Burton Constable's Rodriga Consuela Straker. And we were assured, once we'd told them what we knew about this site and what was happening and the damage it was doing to the land and the environment, we were assured that letters would go out saying absolutely no seismic testing on any Burton Constable land. We were elated, chuffed to bits. Well, yesterday I was told firsthand that the agent for Burton Constable Estates has ordered that all land that belongs to Burton Constable Estates must be allowed to be seismically tested on, which may well lead to onshore drilling. Now, I don't get it. Burton Constable, Capability Brown, landscape gardening, camping, caravans, tourism, British ground where people come and enjoy all of the heritage. I believe they're part of the Heritage Foundation. So I'm absolutely sick to my stomach with the fact that I've just been told that they have said that tenant farmers must allow Rathlin on their land to seismically test. Now, considering Montague Smith's been round to quite a few of the farmers, and some of them several times, each time with a bigger and bigger check, practically begging to get this seismic testing done, which the farmers, the tenant farmers, do not want. They know where this is going. They know their land's going to be ruined in years to come for future generations. And they've held out. But now, Burton Constable, how much money were you given how much money did it take? How many pieces of silver did you take? You Judases. You sold out. So Mr. Giles Sanford Scott, Miss Rodriga Consuela Straker, Mr. Andrew Wells Cole, and the Honourable, well that's rich, Susan Cunliffe Lister, I'd like you to tell me how much did they buy your compliance for, for the industrialisation and the destruction of the land and the environment around here? How much did you pocket? Was it enough to cover the future revenue that you may have had from your caravan sites and your camping sites and your capability brown landscaping? The man didn't landscape those gardens for you to seismically test and stick holes and explosives down? What are you doing? Here we have a well that is clearly, in my opinion, leaking. That is why there is no work going on here. 5% of all wells leak on completion. This, in my opinion, is one of them. And we've had the stench of Macaptain the methane additive round here. We've seen the wildlife destroyed, killed needlessly. In fact, take a look down there, right now, in that ditch. There you go, have a look at that. And that one there, dead field mice. Have a look at what industrialization of our green and pleasant lands has done. Giles Sanford Scott, Rodriga, Susan, Andrew, you are Judases. You disgust me. And that's day five at Rafflin's shutdown well site.